Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another unboxing. I just received these from Colt TV Man. I had these on pre-order. Well, the main part, this I didn't. I wasn't sure if I was going to go with the lighting kit. I do I do have the original Katinga in 1350. And I went with the lighting kit, which was great. Battery powered. The only thing I had with their lighting kit is the lights up here were not that bright. So I was going to kind of go with my own. And eventually I'm going to make this not a battery powered anyway. I'm going to do the same thing with the Katinga downstairs. But I got one of those converters that can also change. Because these are a 4.5 volt power supply. If it's similar to the other one. Where it takes, uh, I think, three batteries. So you get one and a half each so that's three plus another so I think it's four and a half for this um, but I have a converter that can change nine volts into four and a half and then also I added the, on the Katinga I added the, the shuttle bay and the lights I put in there needed nine volts so I need to do that I don't know if I'm gonna add any more lights to this I doubt it. This doesn't have the shuttle bay, so there's no, you know, reason to. And I think the way the back end on this is, you, there's, it's, I don't even know if you could get that shuttle bay and add it into it. I know there's a rear shot of it. Well, yeah, I guess you could, but it would ruin all that nice detail they have back there. So we're going to not do the shuttle bay in this one. But that's the lighting kit. Let's actually open her up. Anybody that's familiar with it, it shouldn't, like I said, look exactly the same. It'll come with photo etch for around the bridge. Um, it comes with extra detail for in these areas here. Where the neck meets the main hall. Um, it'll give you color uh, parts for... The impulse uh, engine grills. It'll give you the red parts for the engines, impulse engines. Um, it'll give you red clear parts for the the uh, torpedo launchers, um, for the bridge, the actual bridge part. Or that might come with the main kit, because the main kit comes with some photo etch, and then there's an extra photo etch to get all the brass detail. To be more uh, three-dimensional but we'll look at all that stuff so here's your power supply and like I said if it's I think three is it double A's or triple A's I'm not sure I can't remember and then there's your flashboard and that's where and it's all plug-and-play which is great so that's where all these plug into and as you can see there's your green LEDs for your nacelles and then there's all your different white five and three millimeters for the rest of the ship. Then next we have, there's our red parts. And like I said, there's the red part. Let's cut it out. Can't see through plastic. And these are pretty stable. These here, which people kind of get confused on where these go just by looking on the box. They actually go right here. There's windows where the neck attaches to the main hall. There's window holes there. Now you can use the kit, if it's the same as the Katinga, will come with clear ones. All these will be clear. Um, but this gives you the red color. Why they didn't just give you the red color with the main kit, I don't know. But that gives you another reason why to by the uh, uh, extra lighting kit for it or you can just hit it with clear red transparent red and, but they it makes it easier especially the bridge because this is where the this will be the red lights for the bridge the bulb you can stick in there and it'll glow this plastic and then there's the red part for the impulse grill in the front aha uh -huh. that's pretty neat packaging compared to last time and here's our 3D printed part. 
which they kept in a nice cardboard piece to keep it from getting stressed out or bent. Oh yeah, that's the main and then that's the two pieces that go in between the these two smaller thinner ones go right there which I didn't put in on the the Katinga because it it makes that those window areas those trenches are supposed to be recessed and so I didn't put them in there but I didn't mind that this makes this area a little bulkier because it gives them more detail so I didn't mind all that but that's the photo etch for that and then that gives you all the details that go like I said on the front part of the hull where the neck attaches same as the old kit nothing different only difference like I said from this light kit in the original light kit for the Katinga is that it uh has the extra lights for the nacelles oh, I think how this go that went there that's somewhere there that's somewhere there but that's it just makes it easier to have all these parts in red and like I said it has all this thing everything's gonna be timed correctly as far as the flashings so I was like, you know what, let's do it. And I'll think of a way to make this brighter up here. Maybe I can use more of a, a, a silver tape to really push that light forward a little better. I mean, it's not bad. And probably to the scale of the ship, because a lot of times you don't want these big ships to be overly bright, the lighting, because it makes it fit with the hull. You know, that to have like spotlights everywhere for windows it's you know doesn't make sense but well, let's get into the main body and here she is and I've been waiting for this for a while and I have a and I am going to now we're, we're just I'm thinking about it I'm gonna have a smaller version of this kit if I can get it out I have this old Katinga from AMT and this is like in the 1650 like the D7s and stuff and this is from you know the motion picture which is what the big 350 Contenga from Polar Lights is is representing but this is this old kit look at the wonderful blue and I have a I have a uh, uh, unboxing of this there's the old decals but what I did is I got a photo etch kit, I think from Don Light, it used to be Don Light and Magic, I think he designed it, and then Paragraphics, or JT Graphics, if I'm not mistaken, took it over. So I do have the whole Kating, uh, Kronos One uh, photo etch to make this the Kronos One. So we might be doing both of these kind of at the same time. Because then I'm in that vibe and I have all that colors and stuff, so we might build both of those at the same time. But let's get into this guy. Find a good area to unseal it. And then we can start looking at the box art. Which is very nice. Nicely done polar lights. But yeah, on the front you have your beautiful picture of the Chrono Swan. They do give you the photo etch for up here around the bridge. But the rest of it, I guess, is gold stickers. Or brass. Brassy gold stickers. On anything that's not really raised detail. Here they give you some photo etch for the raised detail there. But like I said, they have a, a supplement photo etch kit coming out to make all these photo etch. Instead of decals. So you have a little bit of that raised three-dimensional look. Here on this side it shows and it's talking about the decals and all the what they call a battle or, um, ornaments like every time this thing was in battle it would collect more ornaments on the sides there it's talking about the lighting kit you can get for it here's a cool underneath kind of shot 
Here it is on its base. It comes with a dome base. I'm hoping that Photo Etch gives you some cool things like the paragraphic photo etch did that I can put on the base there. Like I said, there, there they're showing the decals that come with it. There's the gold, goldish brass decals, which are going to be hard to see on camera. I don't know if I throw it to this camera. Yeah, there's a, a picture of that sheet. There's your regular decals, and then there's the photo etch that comes with it. Mainly for the bridge and this, and uh, mainly for the bridge and the neck area here. It's gonna have raised parts that you couldn't get away with the decals. All right, let's slide this open. Let's get a vacuum there. There we go. Now the right, all in all, it should be pretty much just like the normal Katinga kit. Oh, that, that's a nice addition. The, uh, so that might, the, uh, impulse engines are now, uh, a graded plastic. So that's nice. But then, and there's your side, uh, plastics for your nacelles. But like I said, there's, there, Let's go one part at a time here. There's your clear part for the uh, impulse grill. And here's all pretty much the reproduction of everything that's on the, pretty much this whole sheet, this whole section of the clear parts is what's in red on the lighting kit. And everything else is regular white clear parts, which we'll see where all that goes. That's probably in the front. Oh, they even have the sides of the ship in a clear, the step sides. We'll figure that out. That's weird that that's in a clear. There's those stems that go back to the back engines that are clear. So yeah, here's all your clear parts and windows and main things to travel. There'll be a light here and it'll bring the light through like a fiber optic to the back of the nacelles. So that's what that tree is. Here's this tree. There's a lot more smaller parts in there. Here's some detail that's not on the original Katinga. A lot of this isn't, but these are. And that's where those clear parts will poke through. In the back, there's looks like the bridge top. That's what that tree is. And this should pretty much be exactly like the original Katinga is. Yep. Remember this one all too well, doing all the coloring of all these, masking and painting all this. The wonderful thing is Polar Lights did this in a black plastic, so light blocking is to a minimum. Trying to figure out what those are. Looks like parts glue on there. But this will be where a lot of your battery stuff will go. Your board will clip there. And your battery will go in here. So that is the top. Like I said, anybody familiar with the Katinga will, will recognize all of this. It's nothing's changed as far as the main part of this ship. It's all in the detail and the coloring. Just added parts, and there's our bottom. That's ready to break off anyway. That is the bottom half of the. If I'm correct. Yeah, because there's the other phaser guns. So it's the bottom half of the bridge area. Let me make sure there's not a lot of flashing on that, though. It might be a little bit different plastic. No, still very nicely detailed. 
and that's where I was talking about people weren't sure what those smaller windows are they go there one goes here and then a smaller one goes over those windows so when you light them you, you can have them red or clear I did them red on the Kuntinga so I'll probably do the same on this one like I said more flashing than I remember last time but I could be wrong and it could be this plastic the black might be it's a little stiffer yep everything looks the same as the normal Katinga at this point oh even the shuttle bay part but yeah you could probably put the shuttle bay in here as well but like I said there's some detail in the door that I want to leave I'm wondering if the supplement shuttle um, photo etch gives you the photo etch for these uh, observation decks The uh, photo etch for the Katinga does, and I should check to see if, because usually if Paragraphic is nice, they give you two of each, you know, in case you screw up one. So I might check my old, because I keep all that stuff, I might check to see if I have the spare one for this if they gave you two, because if the new one doesn't, or I decide not to go with the new photo etch, Still not out yet, but you got a lot of building on here, and I'm not even sure when I'm going to start this one. I'm in a process of moving in two months, and do I want to start a big ship like this and have to move it? But I might have photo etch, extra photo etch pieces. Because, like I said, a lot of par paragraph is really nice where you got small photo etch pieces that are kind of tricky, they'll give you two. Um, and I might. And that would be the same with the neck. Which is, or the spoon, as people say. There's another observation piece there, which I cut out. And I wonder if I still have that on here. But here's your side parts of the hull bulb. There's the lump that's on the top. There's different. Intriguing. There's different uh, engine nacelle caps. This one has more detail in these areas, or these are more basic. I wonder what that's about. Could you make this kit? Are they going to completely get rid of the normal Katinga kit, and you could either build this as the standard Katinga or the Kronos one? That would be a smart way of doing it. The one Star Blazer Yamato. You could build the final battle Yamato or you could build the one before that. It's just adding more guns to it. So I wonder if that's what Polar Lights is thinking of doing is streamlining it and you buy, just like they streamlined the light kit, you can either use that light kit for Kronos 1 or, or the normal Katinga. I bet you that's what they're going to do here. You might not be able to get the old packaged uh, Katinga. They're just going to manufacture one and give you the parts for either. If there's any difference in the parts, they'll give it to you. And that's probably, this is probably, this is what I remember for the Katinga, is those. Those engine nacelle caps. But this one is probably the additions for Kronos 1. If I can get them the same direction, but there's more detail on this one that's coming around right in that area there it's gonna be hard to see on camera but when you get it you'll notice that so that's that's interesting and pretty cool that's the best way to do it is just to combine these kits they're so exact in so many ways and there's that wonderful piece that's got to flap around wrap around and see they, they they did good job on those window holes so I, I didn't really need to use the photo etch and like I said if you put the photo etch in here fills in the channel it fills in the channel where the windows are and it makes it kind of look level and it really shouldn't unless they went with a thinner photo etch um, than before but I do like it around the bulb half and I kind of like that it gives a little bit of a bigger piece to it but all in all, that's, this is pretty much all the same. Like I said, there's those differences. And they're not really, you know, this is not any pricier than what the regular Katinga one was, so. 
Aha. Remember how I said there were clear ones of these? Yeah. These are in clear. There they are in the normal. And those go on the sides of the... So that's interesting to research on what's going on there. And does the Kronos one have some type of lighting area there? I don't know. It's not showing it. Yeah, on the... Uh, of it being lit on the box. And... I know a lot of people, I mean, it's kind of hard, but you can unfold this out, and there gives you your your paint scheme, which is great. It's the same as the other one. And you got all your, your paint scheme. And she's going to be a beautiful ship. It's all on the, on the box, so you can actually cut it out, and here's kind of hard to get it in the camera but there's the paint scheme for the other yeah, parts and then it rolls rolls over and that's where your decals are so you kind of got to cut your box up and then are they showing a brand new and a weathered version uh, they're now nah, they're pretty much just keeping it in the clean stage here they're showing the the original weathered version and there I guess they're showing the weathered version there but these these here are all in the clean so that's going to be interesting on why they did two and more research and all that and why they did that. But, oh, and here's what I was talking about. Here's the other observation deck. Or it might even be like an officer's lounge. Klingon's having a lounge. Um, but there was a photo etch here so you could cut all this out and then have lit back here. And it didn't light very well on mine. I was trying to get some of the light from here to shine in there and it did if it's dark you see it but I'm actually gonna put a light this time on this one here and I believe I have the photo etch for that I do see some differences on the neck here which I don't know if these details would work for both the regular Katinga and the Kronos one because I don't remember that little detail there and it looks like something else glues on there I thought that was just pretty much a flat surface but it could be wrong it's been a while other than that everything looks looks the same so that's those parts so there's a lot of questions and I, and I like that because it's research and there's our wonderful nacelles we finally went and lit you know nacelles on the Klingon ship This is a lot different than the Katinga in this area. Maybe not a lot. I don't know. Like I said, I had a lot of this I have to look at. So I could be wrong on them combining stuff. Because then what would you do here if you're building a regular Katinga? There's a whole bunch of different detail in here. And here. It's all different. These are the outsides, and that would be the insides. That's also different. So I, I could be wrong on them combining stuff, or they're going to have to add more parts to this. But yeah, there's your cells. These are definitely different. We have all these engine parts here. Or not engine, but just mechanics there. The photo etch supplement gives you a nice photo etch piece that goes over here. And I think it gives like grills going across a little better instead of just the simulated in the plastic. But very nice. All right, let's look. Here's the photo etch that comes with it. Yeah, this is all the detail around the bridge and on those other areas. So I bet you the supplement will give you the part that wraps around the and in here, I'm not going to pull these out. These are the decals, and then there's the gold or brassy colored uh, stickers that go on the ship for the battle ornament or ornaments. I can't.
can't speak today. Let's look at the instructions. Probably going to be fairly close to the original. Yep. See, there's where those parts are. And they're saying 50, 155 and 154. But the instructions are saying to use those. And I'm sure somewhere here in this writing, that's in a different language that I can't really read. We'll figure that out when it comes to it. They're saying use the clear parts because that's how that's numbered. But if there's no difference in it, and I'm not, and it doesn't need to be lit, we're not going to do that. Engine caps, they're saying 232 and 235. So they're saying these, which is what I thought. Where are those other ones? What tree was that on? This one? Yeah, and that's 35 and 32. So you have 235 and 232, or 35 and 32. But you're basic, and it does tell you about lights when you're putting things together. You'll have these little light bulb areas that are saying, hey, check this out. If you have the light kit, that's where that's going to go. Well, there it is, in a nutshell. And you know, now that I'm looking, the way this bridge is, I don't even know if you need a photo etch to wrap around that. Oh, you got, you got the metal photo etch in there that you can wrap around. Your red part. Yeah, and it's not as exposed as the uh, original Contenga. So, okay. So, is that on this sheet or is that on the uh, light kit sheet? I think that was, nope, that's on this sheet. Number s n six is what's going to wrap around the clear part for the lights. And it'll stay gold, so that's that's nice. Very nice. But there she is. I hope you uh, come back and uh, watch the build series. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure when I'm going to get to it. I think I might get to this one quick. But it might be a couple months because, like I said, I'd rather be settled in, in my new place before I uh, start taking on another big ship like this. The Kronos One, definitely, definitely suggest getting it. It is a beautiful ship, beautiful color scheme on it. Like I said, all that cool, coolness going on there. But until next time, thanks for watching.